John Burke here at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, and I'm here with Eric Lee. Eric, this has been a very exciting weekend, and it's all wrapped up. What did you think of the festivities here? Well, I think this one of the best things happened for a long, long time because, uh, uh, you know, I think Arnold, without Arnold, uh, Arnold creates a lot of awareness because of his reputation, his uh, influence that 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 uh, he get to the general public because he respect the martial art and he's a fitness expert himself. And certainly, this is one of the best thing that uh, came by for a long time. Now, this is our this is the third year of this particular martial art uh, event, and it is hoped that this will continue here at the Classic for years into the future. That's right. Um, I, I know that we have seen each other and bumped into each other on many projects. Are you are you going to come back? You're going to try and come I, back. I I'll be back. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> this is my first year they invited me, and then I certainly would love to come back if they're going to have another one. You know, I don't know when. Next year, same time. This most exciting event I've been for a long time, and with with the movie business and the uh, uh, martial arts fitness. Expo and everything else. There's so much going on nowadays that we, you know, with the computer technology and all these good things, I really think is the best time right now. Now, we're in 1998. Martial art instruction, teaching. This is big business now. Are you are you in the teaching business at this time? Um, not currently. Uh, lately, I've been conducting seminar with Cynthia Rothrod. I have tour that uh, we're giving. Uh, sh entertainment seminar, how to get into the movie seminar, motion picture fighting seminar. And I've been asked for this for a long time. I decided, okay, let's do it. And this is uh, this thing I've been doing lately also. The martial arts runs in trends. It's very right. cyclical. Um, we've seen ultimate extreme style fighting. We've seen traditional martial arts competition. What is your forecast for the martial arts craze of the next millennia? Well, um, it's pretty hard to say, and I feel there's um, there'll be more and more people would understand about this. Uh, I, I feeling I have a feeling there will be a lot more awareness in the near future on healing arts, along with the martial arts, which is something that I've been studying. Uh, one of my projects that I've been doing, actually, uh, you were asking me what I what I'll be doing. I have a series of tape coming out, a total. Uh, martial arts library and healing art library. One of my projects is called 101 Asian Secret for Beauty and You, uh, which uh, is for health and longevity and is for everybody and I interview a lot of specialists in the area. And then energy and vitality tapes and martial arts training tapes. This is, the, this is the important side of the martial arts which most novice don't see. They don't understand that martial arts is not just kicking and punching. It's not about fighting and beating your opponent. It's about beating the opponent within you and lengthening your life, protecting yourself in many ways beyond the physical. And that's something we want to look forward to. More, more self-healing and self-help in the martial arts. Right. It's a balanced thing. Uh, that's, uh, I feel that's even though if you learn how to hit, you have to learn how to heal. And, uh, you know, many people that train some martial art, I feel that is really, I encourage them to learn a lot more about this area because they can fix themselves up instead of have to see a doctor or learn how to prevent anything before it happens. And that's why I study medicine as well. It's very easy to break a glass, but then when you have to sit down and put the pieces back together with glue, that's difficult. So we look towards uh, the future of the martial arts. Thank you, Eric Lee. Thank you so much for having me.